Paul here with Team Dream Ride, Dream Ride Tennessee. Um, we're going to be going over a couple things today. We're going to be doing a wheel installation on a 2000 FLHT 21 inch wheel. There's a couple things that uh, tend to you run into problems with, do, with doing this installation. So what we're going to do today is the proper mock-up for pre-installation. Make sure that our brake rotors are going to be aligned with the brake calipers properly. Our wheel space is going to be proper and everything's going to be where it needs to be before we install this tire and finish this thing. Last thing you want is to get a tire on a brand new rim, get it all on there and run into alignment issues. Wheel spacing, rotor spacing, caliper, stuff like that. I like to use a tap, tap socket, a thread chaser, and then a chaser for the bolts as well. What will happen sometimes these new hardware have excessive chrome buildup on them, or you got a little bit of debris in here. It's always good to chase the threads on the wheel and the bolts whenever possible when doing the mock-up for these wheels. The risk of breaking a bolt off or something like that, or a bolt not going in all the way. Fix those problems before you have them. A little bit of uh, preventative work will save you headache later in the road. Also, I like to use a little red Loctite, you know, when putting these new hardware on there. And, of course, torque wrench. Always want to torque these. Always torque in a crossing pattern to spec. Both sides, whenever possible, you want to clock your brake rotors so they all line up the same on both sides. This is the habit I like to be in. Next, we're going to get this wheel on the bike and uh, get her mocked up and see how she goes. All right, at this point, we've got our actual torque to spec. We've got our brake calipers on here, torque to spec. Everything's lined up, correct spacers, and everything we're supposed to have. So what we're going to do is we're actually just looking for alignment here. Make sure everything's good. You always want to check your calipers. Make sure your rotor's as close to centered inside the caliper as you can. Wheel spins freely. Nothing's binding up. Nothing's rubbing. Um, it's always a good idea in practice that when you're putting new rotors on, try to use new pads. We have those over here. We'll do that on final installation. But again, you're just looking for, make sure everything's lined up where it should be. Calipers are centered while torqued down. This, this prevents an issue where you get this wheel installed with the tire on it already. And then you get, and it, you know, brake's not lined up properly. Something's rubbing, something's binding. So it's always a good habit to get in and do that before you uh, install the tire and everything else. Now the last part of the step we'll get to here in a second is once I have this tire installed, I am installing the fender lift kit here to make sure with the 21 inch that the fender is going to clear without any rubbing. But even with the lift kit installed, what I will do when the tire is installed is I'll put this fender on and I'll make sure I have proper clearance all the way around. Make sure I'm not getting any rubbing on the back side of the fender, top, or any of the common points where a 21 will rub. Give her a good test ride and have a little fun. Alright, one final tip. You're going to want to hold on to this box in case there are any complications with the install of the new wheel, help you go trouble free from that to that.